All right. Admit. Admit people are joining. Okay. Hi, everybody. Mark Pirtle here. I'm so grateful to be joining all of you and you're, you're coming in from all over the country. Super exciting. Um, we are doing something uh, that I've never done before. I've, I've taught this skillfully aware class for years, uh, over a decade. I've never done it in a 12 week uh, format before. So I'm very excited to do that. For those of you who don't know me well, um, I am an integral therapist. I combine uh, uh, my understanding of chronic physical and psychological pain uh, into uh, a program where I'm gonna teach you how to uh, better understand how you're inside the subtle sense of yourself inside and where all that stress is connects with your outside. And, and, and when you're able to harmonize the inside and your outside, um, not only will you feel better, but your life on the exterior will improve. And so that's what this whole class is about. And it's very science-based, but I'm trying not to get too sciencey. I will, everything you will learn is not my opinion. It is, um, uh, something that, uh, uh, I am sharing with you that is valid and reliable. And so you can, you can count on getting really good uh, information out of this class. Um, that said, let's, let me start by, I'm going to share my screen with you all right now. And I'm going to, going to share uh, the, can, can everybody see uh, the Google Drive folder? No, I, I can tell that you cannot. Um, hold on, stop sharing. Let me try that one more time. Uh, share my screen, Google Drive. There we go. All right, now, do you guys see that? Uh, give me a little why in chat, if you guys can see the Google Drive folder. Yes, I see. Okay, so if one person's seeing it, they're all seeing it. Okay, fantastic. So let me, let me show you, you have this, you have this link right here. Uh, and you will go to the Project Skillfully Aware folder, and every one of these folders is uh, set up the same way. So module one, if you click on that, you will be able to find the, the video. Okay, so this is from the last class. I'm gonna be changing this out, but just to let you know, the video is there, there is a study guide, and the study guide is basically your uh, um, reference for everything that we're gonna talk about and more. It's all in there and every class comes with a study guide. Um, there are gonna be additional PDFs. And so this one sp specifically, you're gonna to wanna to come to this extra awesome virtues journal. I'm gonna be talking about the virtues journal uh, today. And so the virtues journals are here in that uh, um, folder and then videos on relaxation breathing which you're going to learn today uh, so it's all here okay so any questions about that um, you can either give me a question in chat or uh, hold the question perhaps to the end of the class and ask me but i wanted to show you that you have access the the link is in your chat right now all right now i want to know i'm not Sure, are you able to see me at the same time you see this window? Give me a little yes in chat if you can see me or just a um, little yes. Okay, great, all right, wonderful, thank you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna X out of that and I'm gonna share, we are gonna get started with class right now. I don't see the link in chat though. Okay, uh, let me, let me uh, see if I can resend this in chat. Is that going to ever, this will go to everyone. Uh, there it is again. Okay, hopefully you got that. Good, okay, all right, Project Skillfully Aware, here we are. And I, I call this uh, Project Skillfully Aware uh, project because there is no finish line in life. This is going to be a process. We are all unfinished works of spiritual art. 
And uh, so we're going to be working on this for a while. So don't expect full enlightenment out of this class, but do expect to get on the path to more health and happiness. Absolutely. And for sure. All right. So getting the most out of this class, you know, I already shared the Google drive with you. Okay. And so um, any questions about that? Uh, please. My email is Mark with a K at skillfullyaware.com. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me and find out more about that because you'll want to keep up with what's on that Google Drive folder. Okay, so now Zoom tools. Uh, just so we are functioning at a high level with each other and I don't feel like I'm just talking to the air. Chat, questions, comments. And there's also, um, if you look down on the lower menu bar, you're also going to see um, what this little button that says reactions with a clapping and a thumbs up. Give me some love so I know that you are with me. Okay, so lots of love feels good to me. It's not like us. You and I want none of that. Let me see. I'm hearing somebody's okay. unmuted. I'm going to mute everybody right now. Uh, mute all. Okay, not me, of course. All right, so everybody's muted. Okay, so give me some love. Can you guys work that those uh, the the chat tool and and the uh, the reactions? Let me see that you guys are able to do that. Raised a hand. I okay. I see. I see. You guys are using those. Lovely. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Good. Um, now, let us move on. Uh, confidentiality. I want you guys to be uh, feel as safe in this uh, online format as you need to. And so if you need to uh, adjust your username uh, to something anonymous, please do that because I think everybody can see usernames. And if you want to, uh, you can turn your video off as well. And um, if you're moving around, uh, if, if, or if you just, you know, you just rolled out of bed and don't want to be seen, please do that too. And, and if you want to interact with me and share in the rest of the class, I can unmute you, I can turn on your video and, and we, can, uh, we can react and, 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 and process with each other in real time. Okay, so then lastly, because this we can interact with each other, um, I just want you to know that um, your um, uh, people are joining the class right now. Lovely. Um, your comments. Let, let's make sure that all of the comments are uh, uh, kind and considerate and please let's not give advice. We can share from our own experience, but let's do it that way, okay? All right, you guys, um, I'm gonna continue on today. Let's talk about the big ideas that we're gonna be focusing on today. So I already mentioned that I'm gonna teach you in this class how your insides connect with your outsides. And so the, the way we think, speak, and act those, those outward actions are coming from our inward impulse. Our, our inner experience is, is becoming manifest in the world and connecting with the world of others and all of our relations through our thoughts, our speech, and our behaviors. So I'm going to teach you today how what you think, say, and do matters. Because if you want to be healthier and happier, it's literally something you must attend to. Otherwise, you're never going to actualize your full potential of health and happiness without understanding that basic rule. Okay, um, good. And, and I'm going to teach you today some basic practices that, is, that are going to get you going. Um, and, and, and there's a lot to take in. So I'm going to get going with that. All right. So let's, let's talk first about um, the ephases of healthful change. I made up a portmanteau, and what a portmanteau is a word mashup. I want you to understand that single causes and single effects don't exist. Life 
exists as a flow of activity, which is why I put cause and effect together. And I want to understand, I want you to understand how this is going to happen for you, how you shift the flow of all the activity in your life towards more health and happiness. So usually what happens is what wakes us up is something painful. Well, you can think of the stress in the world right now or just in your personal life. And the reason you may have decided I'm going to take this class today is because there was just enough pain in your life where you decided, ah, I want to make things better. So let's honor the pain. Let's, 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 uh, thank the pain, have some gratitude for at least it getting us to the place where we're deciding to do something different. Now, we have to also have faith and inspiration that what we learn can help us. And I'm going to hopefully uh, provide some of that early impetus, that early faith and inspiration that motivates you. And then, then what happens next is, and we're doing it right now, is we're going to investigate information. I'm going to give you things to do, to think about, uh, and maybe something new that you will learn that will influence your inside. So the information is coming from the outside, but it's going in and it will literally change your brain and the way you act and feel in the future. So investigating information is a big part of the growth. And so stay in the flow uh, by putting effort into the practices that I teach you. So when I say goodbye later on, uh, in, in less than an hour, I'm going to be a dream to you again. And we're going to have a whole week where we won't see each other. Stay in it. Okay. So, so the practices that I teach you, put effort into those. You will stay in the flow of this energy and information that then whatever happens in your life arises that may be stressful, you're going to have a an, an more open awareness of, so what I've taught you and what you've learned and practiced will also be with you. You'll be aware of that and, and it will allow you to be more composed through the stress. Because of that showing up differently in the moment and, in, and relating with the stressful event, differently, you will gain insight. So on the inside, you will see that what you did on the outside was more skillful. You will have this change. Oh, you will realize, oh my gosh, now I don't have to have so much faith. I see how this works. That if I stay in the flow of these ifazes and cafects of healthful change, I'm going to iterate myself through little bit of change, little bit of change, little bit of change, over and over and over. For years, you will become a different person, okay? And that's how life, you grow yourself up and life becomes better, all right? That's how the insides and the outsides mesh, these are phases of helpful change. All right, so if any questions, let me see, uh, any thumbs up, anything you want to do right now, just let me know that you're there with me. All right, now I'm going to get into a major, okay, so the major uh, understanding in terms of if you want life to be better, you actually, you actually have to do something right now to make it different in the future. And what you have to do is you have to begin to focus on positive. And so there are what are called the three transcendentals, beauty, goodness, and truth. Now, beauty is, as they say, is in the eyes of the beholder. Your beauty experiences are happening on your inside. When you see a sunset, yes, the sunset's on the outside, but you feel the good, the, the, the beauty on the inside, right? And so beauty experiences, think of all uh, beautific experiences as coming in through your sense gates and you appreciating them on the inside. Now, we want to savor those moments because when you savor those moments, you're activating the brain circuitry that is involved with you appreciating pleasurable circumstances. And when we're under stress, those brain circuits don't get activated so as, as much. And so what we have to do is we have to put 
effort into activating them. It's like exercising the pleasure circuits. And when you exercise the pleasure circuits, you actually feel more pleasure in the future. So beauty, search it out through taste, through touch, through sight, through sound, through your own thoughts, okay? Through your own imaginings. Amplify the beauty inside of you. Goodness comes in relation with someone else. So if beauty is subjective, intrasubjective, inside experience, goodness is intersubjective. It's an inner and outer. It's a sharing of love. It's a sharing of uh, care and warmth. So we have to amplify how we share our goodness with others. So I'll give you a, a perfect example. When I go on a run, and I run quite often, I'll run down a street near the University of Arizona, down the mall, and so I see a lot of people on my run. I never hesitate to give a warm smile and say hi, or like, you know, if, if people are exercised and I give them some praise, I spread goodness consciously and I get it back. People that see me start giving me the, the up, the arms raised, right? And so I feel the goodness because I give the goodness. Start giving the goodness today. Today start and you'll start feeling better. Now, lastly is truth. So truth is an external experience of the way things work. And this, this is objectives. And so when I say objective, it's, it can be measured. It can be agreed upon. When you align with an understanding of how things work, the flow of things on the inside and on the outside, like what I'm telling you right now is objectively true. You practice these things, you will feel better. If you align yourself more with objective truth and that subjective inside cause and effect that there's a there's a truth of causality happening on your inside when you understand the flow of that you're going to line yourself up with the way the universe works and you will more easily change yourself okay these are the three transcendentals amplify them in your life good all right i'm gonna and so this is the first big practice Focus on positive. Good? All right, next. Any questions? I am watching the chat. I am monitoring. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you how the insides and the outsides connect. And the, the, the ancient meditators discovered this uh, law of cause and effect, how what happens on the inside uh, arises and meshes with the outside, and they call it karma. Uh, so, so karma, people have an idea of like things that might happen to you. Let's say if you get into a car accident, they say, oh, that's your karma. No, I want you to think of your karma as how you react to a car accident. So how it feels inside whenever something happens to you, your reaction to the happening is your karma. And that's what we want to change because we can't change lousy things happening, but we can change our reaction to lousy things. And so let me give you the rules of karma. So there are infinite causes behind the experience in your life. Just know that, that, that it's, life is more complicated than you think. And, and so give grace to yourself for making mistakes, give grace to others for making mistakes because there's an infinite flow of causality that's pushing every person in a certain direction and we can't, we can't appreciate it all. So it's really hard, it's hard to change. So give some grace. Your patterns take time to change. Give yourself some grace. You are the one that's on the inside. And so what you think, say, and do will affect you on the inside, no question. That's a rule of karma. That's, that's why I'm giving you right now, I, I told you in the last slide, focus on positive, because if you don't, your insides aren't going to feel as good. Your karma, the way you show up in the future, you won't prime yourself to show up positively in the future if you're not sowing the seeds right now. And sowing the seeds effects, meaning what you feel in the future is going to be similar to the seeds you sow right now. 
Okay, do you understand that? So you have to start focusing on positive now if you wanna feel positive, more positive later. The effects of your actions now increase over time. So if you keep doing the same thing now, the effects get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's how a person becomes depressed. They're sad at first, they stay focused on their sense of loss and hopelessness. And because they keep doing that over time, their sadness gets bigger, it inflates. Okay, that, that's where anxiety comes from. And so I just want you to know it works both ways. You can amplify negative or you can amplify positive. I wanna tell you, be conscious prime yourself, start amplifying positive and grow that, okay? Um, the, the memories that you cause and the, the, the actions that will come from you will amplify depending on the emotion that you give it. And so if you're really in a strong emotion around something, the, the propensity for that whatever it is, positive or negative, to move forward and affect you in the future is greater. So that's why dampen the negative. Uh, stay aware, but don't amplify negativity. I'm not saying don't pay attention to the negativity in your life or don't acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. You know, let, that, let the pain in your life move you in the direction of um, desire for healthful change. But amplify the positive. I'm going to teach you how to do that. And then just know that whatever you prime yourself for, that like those imprints, think of those as memories. They're stable. So, so all of your memories you're carrying with you. Your karma is your possession, but it's changeable over time. Okay, does everyone get that? Let me see in chat. I want to know, because that's kind of complicated. I want to know a why. Give me a why or a yes in chat that, yeah, I get this. Not seeing anything from anybody. Yeah, there's a why from Barbara. Thank you. Makes sense, Gala. Thank you, Galen, Galena. Yeah. Okay, good. Anybody questioning? Anybody questioning? I want to make sure you guys get that. It's deep. Imprints can program. Yes, imprints can be programs from the past. They are programs from the past. Think imprints are memories, okay? We're, and we're carrying those with us. Great, thank you, Darcy. Okay, so now let's talk about, this is the practice now, and, and, and the logbook that I will show you is in the Google Drive folder. So how think, speaking, and acting? Okay, well, let me tell you. So there's three ways of thinking that I want you to be aware of. The first one is called right view or correct view. This is utterly important. This is like you decide, okay, what I think, say, and do matters. Okay, that's the right view. A person who believes they can do anything and it won't affect them on the insides, that's, that's going against the way the universe works. Sorry to say, okay? It is, you, you will be affected by what you think, say, and do and how you relate. If you're mean to everybody and you destroy your relationships, you will not be a healthy and happy person, all right? So right view, and we wanna amplify right view. Sympathetic joy, what is sympathetic joy? Be happy when other people have good things happen to them. So don't be envious, don't, don't be resentful, right? When you're happy for others, you're spreading the goodness, which you're the, you're the recipient of your own goodness, all right? Well-wishing. We're always going to get sideways with people. You know, people in our lives, if you think about the people in your life, they're there to teach you something. Well, sometimes the lesson is hard. And sometimes we learn about ourselves by the um, unskillful, uh, behaviors of others. We learn, wow, I, I, I need to clean myself up because I don't want to behave that way. Well, if someone doesn't treat you well, don't harbor the resentment. Just wish them well, okay? Well wishes is important so you don't so stay stuck in resentment. 
that can that it, holding on to anger for a whole long time is uh, will affect you physically trust me on that one okay um good so those are the three of mind i will talk more about those now let's talk about the four of speech the first one is be honest with yourself and others okay you're talking to yourself inside your head be honest with yourself okay be self-reflective be honest in your dealings with others and 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 i don't mean brutal honesty like if somebody says hey do you like my hat that is the ugliest hat i've ever seen no i'm not talking about that but i'm talking about you know keeping your word with people and yourself all right you know what i'm talking about supportive speech oh the opposite is is being divisive the opposite is you gossiping about someone else don't do that you're not spreading the goodness and you will be known as a person who gossips and you so you're going to experience the negativity of that negativity it'll come back to bite you so what's kind and gentle speech kind and gentle speech is filtering your tone and the word choice so you don't you know punch somebody in the face with your words and i grew up in a german household this is something i am still working on and and i've been working on this for such a long time germans can be so blunt and they just punch each other in the face with their words and so those imprints are in me and i have to watch that that is that is my growth area and i'm i'm doing better but you know ask my wife i can still improve trust me on that one all right so meaningful speech what's meaningful speech meaningful speech is when you're with a group of people watch how you if there's a if there's an impulse in you to capture somebody with your speech we've all been captured before let's say that you guys sign up for the skillfully aware class and i start talking about you know, university of arizona basketball and whether there's going to be a season this year and you're like well, i thought i was taking a skillfully aware class well i wouldn't be i wouldn't be following the tenant of meaningful speech if in this moment i'd be i was talking about u of a basketball with you guys okay so keep it meaningful when you're with people watch yourself and how you relate okay all right now what are the three of body the three of body are honor life respect life you know we have we live in an old 1941 house and i don't know how this happens but crickets every night at about nine o'clock crickets start coming into our house linda and i have no idea where they're getting in this is a summer phenomenon it's happening do we smash the crickets no every night we take the crickets out of the house and we put them outside honor life okay life is a precious thing if you look out into the universe it's not an easy thing to find another planet with life so honor it and however you find that you do that honor life protect property that means don't take anything that's not freely offered but also you know when you go to the park pretend it's yours we have a park by our house called himmel park and when alana my daughter and i we go there we pick up the trash that we see you know that's that's protecting property and if everybody did that the world would change overnight it we eight billion people just picking up the trash around them or or just caring for whatever's around them instantaneously we'd live in a better world and then lastly is sexual integrity don't cause harm with your sexuality all right not to yourself or others okay so those are the 10 now i'm going to teach you how to track these virtues and there is a pdf in the google drive folder and it's going to show you uh it's going to there are going to be pages that you will see okay now it's not going to look like this two-sided book it's it's think of this the left side of the book i mean no the right side of the book is going to be on the left on top of the left side so the same things you're going to see here right and left but right is going to be stacked on top of left when you see it in the google drive folder but let me just go over the right and the left side okay so this will be what's what you see on top 
always the same. Special practices. What special practice? I want to pray every day. I'm going to commit to praying every day. I'm going to commit to meditating every day. I'm going to commit to doing my virtues log every day for the next 12 weeks. Write it down there. Check it off. Worldly to-dos. I got um, I got to write in my book today. I've got to schedule some clients today. Those are my worldly to-dos, okay? Put your, got to wash the car today. Put the worldly stuff there so you keep it with you. Meditation, what did I do today? Did I do loving kindness? Did I do relaxation breathing? How long did I do it? Did I gain any insight? That goes there. And then the, the rejoiceables is you, after the day's over, you're like, I want to rejoice that I did these things and I want to I want to watch myself because I fell short on the regrettables, okay? Three, three rejoiceables, three regrettables. Okay, so now here are the virtues. On the left side, which will be on the bottom half of the page, you're going to see six virtues. So the six that you see right here, correct view, what you think, say, and do matters, always be happy for other people, sympathetic joy, well-wishing, honesty, supportive speech, gentle speech. Okay, plus minus. Did I do it? Yes, I, I did my virtues journal today. So plus, I, I was sympathetically joyful when somebody else got a raise. I was happy for them. Um, I harbored resentment for whatever reason, so negative. So, so you just track your own inner experience with these virtues. And one day, in one day, like today, you'll track these six. The next day, tomorrow, you'll track the next six. You'll start with four. You'll start with number, I mean, number seven, because you did six the day before you. So seven is meaningful speech. Eight, honor, it says revere life, but honor life respect property or protect property. You see how I, I, the, I just want you to know that when I wrote these up, I did it separately. So I used different words, but understand protect property and respect property, the same thing, honor life, revere life, same thing, sexual integrity. So you cover the last four of the 10 and then you start over, correct view, what I think say and do matters and sympathetic joy. You see that in the very next day, so today is Saturday. This would be for tomorrow for Sunday. For Monday, we would do, start at the top with well-wishing number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It takes you five days to get through each, each one until you start over again with number one at the top. Okay, now, is that confusing? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Let me, let me see. Now's the time to raise a hand. Let me unmute you, get the questions answered, or is it totally understandable what you're going to be doing? You're going to be tracking your virtues, how you think, the way you speak, and the way you act, whether you did it right or you, or you fell short. Marianne got it. Good. What about everybody else? There's a lot of people in this class. What do you guys say? Darcy's good. Good. L let me see. Anybody have any questions? Bridget, good. Great. Thank you, guys. Okay, so this PDF is going to be in the Google Drive folder, okay? And one of them is a clean copy for you. There's two copies. One of them, I pretended I filled it all out as if I were you. And so you can see on the, the example copy how to do it if you have questions. Okay. One is a clean copy for you. One is a copy that I did, filled it out completely, all 10 pages. So you see, ah, uh, this is how he was working his program, okay? And then, of course, my email, mark at 
skillfullyaware.com. Okay. If you don't understand, you get hung up, don't wait a whole week. Email me. Okay. All right. Now we've done that. Now we're moving on to the next practice. This is an essential practice as well, because this is all about inside and outside, you guys, right? Well, I want to show you that you can regulate your inside if the outside is going a little crazy by doing what's called relaxation breathing. Now, what relaxation breathing is, it's, it's very simple. It's just breathing slowly, lightly, and deeply through your nose, okay? Slowly, lightly, and deeply through your nose. So every in and out cycle lasts longer than 12 seconds. So in a minute, you're breathing fewer than five times in a minute. Now, when you do that, you regulate your nervous system from the inside. Okay, let me show you how to do it. Now, when I show you, I'll have to purse my lips so you can hear me breathing. Otherwise, if I breathe slowly, lightly, and deeply through my nose, you will have no idea. Okay, so again, I'm breathing, pursing my lips and making a noise, but I don't want you to make a noise when you do it. Okay, so watch me. I'll start by breathing out. Do it with me, okay? So those were just two cycles. I, my, my whole body feels different right now. Just two cycles. So practice that right now, slowly, lightly, deeply, no noise, just through the nose, and you can count in your mind. And now, I don't want you to breathe so high that you, you activate your, your, the, the accessory muscles of breathing. You don't wanna do that. You wanna breathe all the way down into your belly Keep it slow, light, and deep. Slow, light, and deep, okay? That's relaxation breathing. Does everybody get that? Let me a little, little yes, a little why. Got it, Darcy. I know Darcy's got it. Okay, Galena, great. Okay, there's a video of relaxation breathing in the Google Drive folder in case you have questions. Okay, great. All right, so I'm gonna move on. Now, this is, this is your basic meditation practice when you, when you do your relaxation breathing. So, so today, after this class, I'm gonna teach you how to meditate, all right? Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, eyes open or closed, it doesn't matter. You're gonna place your attention on the changing sensations of breath at the tip of your nose. That's where you, you focus a local attention on breath, changing breath. As you do this relaxation breathing, you can count to keep yourself on task, right? Breath counting. You count at the end of an out breath, one. Like if I, two, like that. If, you, if you're doing relaxation breathing and you're staying on purpose, you don't need to do the breath counting. You can be counting your relaxation breathing. But if you do breath counting, let your breath regulate itself. So not five or fewer times, but more like 15 times a minute, which is sort of normal. And at the end of every out breath, you do a little count and you count from one, 
to 10 and then start over. If your mind wanders during that time, you start over again. And so like, w watch me. So if I'm meditating, I would breathe in and breathe out. At the end of the out breath, I'd say one to myself. I'd breathe in and then I'd breathe out. And at the end of the out breath, I'd say two to myself. And then I'd breathe in. And if I started thinking about lunch and, oh gosh, I'm hungry, then I'd realize, oh, I, my mind wandered. I'd start back at one again. Okay, that's breath counting. Do you guys get that? Good. And then lastly, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna meditate here in a sec, okay? So, and I'm gonna lead the meditation. I just want, I'm priming you to, to know what we're doing here. And lastly, the intention, the intention, I'm gonna write this intention. So follow breath sensations at nose and try to limit the time your mind wanders. Okay, that's your intention. So let's set that intention right now. So sit up nice and straight for me. Okay, clear the decks. Put your hands in your lap, feet on the floor. Okay, back reasonably straight. And what I want you to do is I want you to eyes open first and I want you to see the whole room. Just keep your eyes very still at something that you're looking at, maybe, maybe my face or, or the slide that you're looking at. See the whole room peripherally. Good, become aware of your body in, the, in this room. Good, and now what I want you to do is I want you to start breathing through your nose and start the relaxation breathing. Slowly, lightly, deeply. You might want to count and make sure that one cycle of an in and out breath is longer than 12 seconds. Okay, I want you to go through a few cycles of relaxation breathing right now. Focus on positive as you do this. Enjoy the peace of just sitting still and being led on a guided meditation. It's so nice to have somebody guide you. And so acknowledge the joy that comes from this very simple practice. Focus on positive right now. Good, good, good. You might even, the thought ah, might come over you on the inside. Just really, Allow yourself to enjoy. Feel whatever you're feeling and let it flow. If there's tension, release. If there's stress, breathe it out. You're doing a relaxation breathing right now. It's beautiful on the inside. It's beautiful on the inside. Feel the beauty on the inner experience. Great. Now let's shift to breath counting. I still want you to focus at the tip of your nose, but breathe a normal rate and a normal depth, whatever that is for you, let your breath regulate itself. And at the end of a particular out breath, just say one to yourself. And I know you're listening to me, but stay focused on your breath sensations best you can. Really focus. Try to limit the time that your mind wanders and see how high you can count. And if you reach 10, start over at one again. This is the basic practice. You can have your eyes open or closed. It doesn't matter. Very be easy on yourself. If your attention runs away, no problem. Just bring it back. You're aware of the outside. You're aware of the world. You're aware of your body. And your attention is focused on breath sensations. Beautiful. 
Now, remember to enjoy this as you're doing it. This is your simple meditation practice. You're training right now your brain to, to watch where your attention goes. You're placing your attention on breath sensations. And then you're staying aware of where is my attention? You are rewiring your brain for more health and happiness right now. So simple. It's amazing that just paying attention to one thing while sort of aware of everything is a game changer. You're using your whole brain. Your right hemisphere sees the whole space. Your left hemisphere focuses the attention. And you're harmonizing both hemispheres right now. You're growing yourself up. You're growing a perspective right now. Okay, wonderful. Five minutes of meditating. You see how nice? And notice the inner beauty, the shift in inner experience after that. Doesn't it feel great? Okay, how was that for everybody? Please, right now, what is, what is the experience that, that you just had? Please share with me any questions, you know, hand clapping, thumbs up, what, whatever you want to do. Let me know that you, you had a good experience. Serene says Rufus. Wonderful. I know Rufus is a feeling chillaxed. All right. Yes. Calming. Great. Let me ask you this. Was it understandable? present, connected, was it understandable what you were doing? Relaxation breathing to get into it, right? Staying aware, getting focused, limiting the time that your mind wandered, staying present, using the counting to help as a, as a, a little bit of a, 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 a focusing tool. Okay, great. All right, you guys. I love that. I love the fact that you all seem to have gotten it. And, and, and please, if not, if, if you don't want to ask a question in front of the group, uh, email me. Okay, so now priming. This is another, this, is, this goes along with this focus on positive, right? But focus on positive requires you to set intentions. So in the morning, you're going to be doing your uh, virtues journal. You're going to be looking at it over your cup of coffee, and you're going to fill it out. You're going to be priming yourself for the day ahead. You'll sow seeds in your consciousness to remember to speak kindly and gently, right? Well, at night, what I want you to do as you lie down in bed is I want you to recall your day. That's remembering to remember. So you're going to prime ahead of time. And you're going to sow seeds on your interior to show up the very next day more present and more aware. So how do we do that? We recall our day. Okay. And, and recall the whole day, the good and the bad. But, but specifically, this is where the rejoiceables and the regrettables come in. Okay, on your virtues journal, you know, you're going to be recalling those. How did I do today? Oh, I did really great when I, I acknowledged my daughter's creativity in the moment. When, when I saw her so full of joy, I let her know I saw that joy. I, I, I amplified goodness in our relationship. Okay, um, where did I fall short? Oh, you know, I, the cat was meowing when I was focusing and I picked up the cat with too much aggression. I didn't hurt the cat, but I wasn't loving in that moment. I, you know, I need to watch how I relate even to my cat, especially to my cat. I have to honor life, right? That's how you do it. You recall your day. 
And, and for those things that you regret, like I picked up my cat a little too aggressively, I got to feel that. I got to call that in. And so I, I feel the, the karma of not showing up with all that goodness because that pain there is going to remind me, ah, I need to do something different. So what do I do? I set an intention. Intentions are everything. You can't change without priming yourself to be different in the future. You have to set the intention. That's setting the resolve. I'm going to watch the next time I see my cat, I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up and love it. And I'm going to, I'm going to realize no matter how I'm feeling inside, you know, my cat's just hungry. Okay. So I got to show up and I got to monitor and modify my interior experience. And I got to show up in a way that's loving and kind and amplifies goodness in all my relations all the time. That's who I want to become. Okay. That's the resolve. That's setting the intentions. And then afterwards, be grateful that you're on this path. Rejoice. The, the amplifying of the goodness. What did I do today that was so awesome? I'm on this path. The fact that I'm doing this, darn it. I know things are going to get better. Don't stay stuck on the resentment. Some people do. And so you got to remember to rejoice. Okay, we all have a habit of, well, not all of us, but most of us have a habit of falling into shame and guilt. The rejoice at the end is, psh, you're, you're not going to grow yourself up through guilt and shame, okay? Not going to happen. Rejoice that you're doing your part and give yourself grace. Okay, so that's remembering to remember. That practice is in the Google Drive folder too. Um, Virtues journal in the morning. Lying down at night, eyes closed, recall, um, regret, uh, resolve, rejoice. Just think of those four R's. Okay, now, whew, let's, this is just a reminder. Here's what we're doing this week. Simple reminder. We're doing relaxation breathing. Anytime, every time the outside stirs up your inside, calm yourself down slowly, lightly, deeply. Uh, Buy a highlighter, okay? Print out the modules. There's a module one. I want you to read it. There's good stuff in there. Get a highlighter and highlight the stuff that's going to uh, grow you up the fastest. There's going to be stuff that you relate to. Highlight that stuff. There's a, on the Google Drive folder, in the additional PDFs, there is a distress measure. I want you to measure the distress in your life Today, get a baseline measurement. What's my great zero to 10? When I feel the worst, when I feel the best, what's my average? Get some numbers. So at the end of this class in 12 weeks, you can do it again, which you, I'm going to have you do it again. I want you to see that if you practiced, your numbers change. That, that at your worst, you're better. At your, your best is better and your average is better. I want to, you to prove to yourself that if you do these practices, if you stay engaged, you will feel better. So, so measure your distress. The attentional practice that we just did, all right, focusing on breath, the breath counting, there are instructions in the study guide, okay? It's in there. The nightly prospective memory practice, recall, regret, uh, resolve, rejoice, that's in there. Okay, the virtues journal, it's in the Google Drive folder. Okay, it's all there. And I just want you to know every single class is not like this dump truck of activity. Oh my God, this is just your practice. Okay, think of it. What am I asking you to do? A little bit of something in the morning, just keeping a journal for 12 weeks. It's super simple, it takes five minutes through the day, monitoring and modifying. Sit for five, 10 minutes, watching your breath. And at the end of the day, recalling what you've did, done. That's all I'm asking you to do, okay? You can totally do this, okay? Easy peasy. All right, now the additional uh, PDFs, there's, there's how to set up a meditation space if you don't know how to do that. 
how to speak with more kindness and gentleness in your life, compassion and communication. That's in there. The distress tools and the obstacles that get in the way of our progress, that's in there too. So enjoy. Just read to your heart's content. Go as deep as you want. It is all there for you. All right. So you guys, that is the end of this class. Let's talk about the big ideas for next week. Of course, I'm going to review everything, okay? But you're going to learn about living systems. You're a living system. Like there's something that's inside of you that's keeping itself alive. I'm going to teach you how that happens and how the cause and effect on the inside focus, that, that karma of cause and effect maps on top of how the truth of how reality on the outside goes together. Okay. I'm, so I'm going to teach you that next week. And then we're also going, I'm also going to teach you about the mind, your mind, what mind is, how to work with the mind that's coming next week. So don't miss that. And then, well, that's, that's really it. Okay. You guys, thank you so much. That's the class for today. I really appreciate you little, little for little love for mark in in chat if you like the class and and also know that if you want to invite somebody to join please do okay they can watch this uh recording and and get caught up we're going to have a practice session next week on next saturday we're going to, for an hour, we're going to practice together. We're going to meditate. We're going to review all our practices. Okay. So, so next week, I'm not going to be giving you more to do. We're going to practice what we've done. Okay. Blessings to all of you. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Okay. Bye now.